If you're a gardener, you know how difficult it is to work with clay soil. It can become as hard as a brick when exposed to sunlight. It is dense and moist. There isn't much space for plants to breathe in water in this soil. Although clay soil isn't ideal, there are plants that can thrive in it and even improve its texture and drainage. The following 10 plants can be grown in clay soil. Number one, drooping conflower. In comparison to the elegant Mexican hat flower, drooping conflower lacks that certain something. However, it is considerably more robust and features the identical, cheerful, cascading petals. Medium moisture with good drainage is ideal for this plant, while it can handle brief periods of drought. Zones three to eight are ideal for drooping conflowers. Number two, Blazing Star. Grassy leaves and spiky bottle brush blooms characterize blazing star plants, which bloom profusely throughout the year. Monarch butterflies will spend hours savoring the nectar from these flowers. Although it does not do well in wet soil during the winter, it does best in fertile, damp soil otherwise. The optimal growing conditions for blazing star are zones three to eight. Number three, butterfly weed. Clusters of flowers in dazzling color combinations are produced by this perennial plant that is native to North America. Hummingbirds, bees, and butterflies all find it quite appealing. This plant thrives in arid environments and has a deep taproot that allows it to withstand drought. Butterfly weed thrives in USDA hardiness zones three through nine. Number four, compass plant. Silphium plants are unique prairie plants that thrive in clay soil because of its abundant nutrients. Their beautiful golden blossoms droop gracefully from the plant's foliage. Two more plants that do well in clay soil are the compass plant and the shorter Silphium integrifolium, commonly known as roseweed. This plant is suitable for zones three to eight. Number five, goldenrod. Although it is sometimes mistaken for the allergenic ragweed, goldenrod is not actually going to make your sinuses worse. This is why it gets a poor rap. The plant may thrive in clay soils with adequate drainage and is very tolerant of inferior soil types overall. Ideal growing conditions for goldenrod are zones three to eight. Number six, sea holly. Sea holly is a unique addition to any flower garden because to its odd bloom heads, which resemble thistles. As a cut flower, the blossoms have a long vase life. The ideal soil for this plant is sandy and slightly dry, although it will also thrive in clay that drains well. Zones three to nine are ideal for this plant's growth. Number seven, Arkansas Blue Star. The delicate willow-like leaves of the Arkansas Blue Star make it a beautiful border foliage plant. After the lovely seed pods emerge in late April, pale blue star-shaped flowers appear. The growth season is completed by the golden autumn foliage. Although it isn't fond of dry spells, this plant may thrive in a wide variety of soil types. From zones five through nine, this plant flourishes. Number eight, Haster. Perennial asters bloom late in the season and thrive all the way up to the first hard frost. 
The plants can really do quite well in clay soil, as long as it drains well. Consider using a raised bed or doing two rounds of digging if your soil is really clay. Zones three to eight are ideal for this plant's growth. Number nine, wild bee balm. It doesn't matter much what kind of soil wild bee balm grows in, as long as it's dry. Like sparklers, its flower heads are very showy and spread out. To make plants that grow bushier, pinch them back when they are young. Zones three to nine are ideal for this plant's growth. Number 10, New York Ironweed. As it grows to a height of five to seven feet, the robust wildflower known as New York Ironweed produces clusters of tiny violet blooms. Because it thrives in moist environments, clay soil is ideal for its growth. New York Ironweed thrives in USDA hardiness zones five through nine. Well, thanks for watching video from Catchy Garden. Don't forget to click like and subscribe button to always support our channel. You can also turn on the notification bell to get the latest videos from us. We'll see you in the next videos.